Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model called Spectre. It is a stealth model that is currently available in Kilo Code. It has a 256k token context window with a maximum of 8,000 tokens per step. There is currently no image or multimodal support, but expect that very soon. I have strong guesses regarding what this model actually is, and I'll talk about that going forward as well. First, let's talk about how you can use it. As I mentioned, it is currently available on Kilo Code. So, you'll need to go to the VS Code Marketplace, search for it, and then install it from there. Once installed, it appears in your sidebar, and you can start using it. To enable the Spectre model, you need to go to the settings, create a new profile, and name it anything you like. Next, select the Kilo Gateway Provider here. Then select the Spectre model, and you should be good to go. This seems to be a non-reasoning model because it never shows reasoning steps. There are no thinking traces for it, and you can't set any reasoning effort or anything like that. It is currently unlimited and has no rate limits at the moment. So, this is quite good. Now, let's talk about the performance that I'm seeing with this. So, this model is actually quite good. It is very seamless in tool calling, and it accurately calls the correct tools. It is also not very verbose. It almost never says anything apart from the tool call itself. It doesn't even say, I'm going to edit a file, or anything like that. It just does it, which is a very interesting behavior I saw recently. Minimax also does something similar. Anyway, regarding some things that I tried with it, I asked it to solve the Advent of Code 2025 Day 1 question, and it nailed it quite well. It solved the first part quite seamlessly. For the second part, it got a bit confused at first, but it corrected itself autonomously. So, that was great to see as well. I had also tried GLM 4.6 on this, and it doesn't solve the second part. Similarly, Minimax also fails to solve it. Kimmy, however, does indeed solve it. So, this is a great model. Now, what exactly is this model? Well, it is probably Mistral Large, or maybe Codestral. I have some good guesses that lead me to conclude it is one of those. Mistral Large and Ministral have been added to the Transformers repo for support. It is supposed to be a 675 billion parameter model, which is massive. I also think that it is a bit bigger than GLM, but smaller than Kimi, based on the knowledge performance that I'm seeing. It is quite a good model, and Mitral might make a strong comeback with this release. Considering that the US and the West have few good open models right now, this might be a godsend for some. Mitral had drifted away from open-sourcing their models or releasing open weights, which caused them to lose a lot of momentum. I believe the previous Mitral Large wasn't open, but this one is now open, and it seems to be a similar size to DeepSeek. So, they might have taken a lot of recipes from what DeepSeek has done with their models. Most of their previous models never used reinforcement learning and they were obviously not as great at tool calling either. So, this might be a new generation model from them that could actually be near the state of the art in the open model sector. I do know that some new models are coming from the China side, including a new version of Minimax very soon and smaller models from GLM. Mitral's models can still be good if the license holds up, because their licensing structure has shot them in the foot in the past. However, they have elaborated previously that they'll be moving back to Apache licenses. At least this model might help Cursor build their Composer model based on a Western model instead. I am pretty confident that this is a Mistral model, as I can see a lot of behaviors typical of a Mistral model. There are also some sources who have confirmed it for me. So, yeah, 
it is probably that. That is about it. I like this model, and let's hope that it is indeed the Mistral Large model, as I really want Mistral to be back on track with their open releases. I love the days when they used to just drop a magnet link for a crazy new model. So yeah, let's hope they bounce back with this model. Also, I haven't tested it on the general benchmarks yet, as I prefer to have an API for testing. Without that, the performance metrics can sometimes be degraded. I have tested it on my agentic benchmarks though, and it is comparable to GLM, which is great. It seems like a solid model. There are almost no tool call errors with this model. There are also no diff edit failures. Unfortunately, it can't do Godot well, but it is still a good model. It is also not particularly good at front end, but it seems to be awesome at back end, which is a very interesting thing to see. Minimax is also similar. However, it is a tad bit better at front end in my opinion. Front end is something that people don't always agree on. So, there's that. This model tends to write simple code, which is also interesting. It doesn't overcomplicate things either. Also, one thing to consider is that this is not a thinking model. This is raw model performance that doesn't use chain of thought or reasoning steps. Minimax, GLM, Kimi, and DeepSeek all do reasoning now, which is good and increases performance. But it comes at the price of speed and latency. So, you have to consider that this is a non-reasoning model that is performing quite well. I'd be happy to see a reasoning variant of this model as well, if that happens. This might secretly be a reasoning model, but I'm not sure. As there are no thinking traces, no reasoning effort slider, or anything like that. That is mostly it. I'd love to see Mistral bounce back with their models. This model is also expected to be a multimodal model, which is unlike most of the other open models that we currently have. Minimax is not multimodal. GLM is not multimodal either, although there is a vision model coming soon. Kimi is also not multimodal. So, Mitral's model will be interesting to see for that reason as well. There is also a Ministral model coming soon. Both of these models are expected to arrive on December 25th, which is Christmas. So, it will be cool to see nonetheless. That is mostly it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.